So of course this all happens under the house. So let's uh, pop in here and uh, bear with me while I get ourselves positioned. All right, might even be able to sit up in here. Comfy, oh, maybe not. So I gotta be careful down these older houses. Okay, brace and bolt. That's a bolt. That's gonna keep that piece of wood from moving. Pins it down to the foundation. That bolt keeps the sliding action from happening. And there's a bolt here. There's another bolt there. And another bolt there. What they did is they added this piece of wood kind of the original piece of wood in place. If you can't use the bolt, then you can use these plates. And that actually screws to the foundation and then screws to the mud sill. Again, keeping that piece of wood locked down to the concrete foundation so that that piece of wood does not slide off that foundation. This plate and a plate and a plate and then back to bowl spray. Okay. And now the bracing. That's this plywood here that's been added. <laughs> this piece right here, the holes are for ventilation so air doesn't uh, get damp back there and cause fungus. So air kind of comes in and out. And what they're doing is to the face of these little studs here, they're nailing the plywood here and all the blue lines purple lines represent where the stud is nailing it and what that does is like a bunch of dominoes it puts a piece of wood on the face of it so they can no longer tip over because they're nailed up and so what that does is it keeps these corners of the house from failure due to cripple wall failure <laughs> And so those are the sheer panels of plywood that are added to the cripple walls, these little walls. Here's the floor. There's the ground, this little crawl space. What you don't want is this floor to come down two feet because all the whole wall collapses. So this is sheer wall. So that's the brace component coupled with these brackets right here. So these floor joists resting on top of this wall, they're now bolted to the shear wall, which is bolted to the original cripple wall. And then the foundation mud sill is either bolted or bracketed down and you have a brace and a bolt system. And uh, if there was uh, an earthquake right now, I would well, just hang out here. I would be fine. It's gonna hold the house up during a major earthquake.